Hey guys, I bet you're probably wondering how I got in this situation. Um, long story, but I'll explain it to you guys in just a second. It's actually a joke on my part. And there's a pretty good lapse in judgment there. I had no idea what I was doing. Oh crap, we got the ball. Hurry, Laura. What are you gonna do? Good friend. Lara, get your ass in gear. Get us out of here. Alright, anyways, let me kinda get you guys up to speed here. Um I did record audio for this video, but my microphone was a little too close to my mouth. I'm using a new uh, mic stand, so <laughs> obviously I was so excited to use it and I did not realize how close my microphone was. So it sounded like I was eating my mic the whole time, so this isn't going to be a live commentary, but I'm going to kind of watch this one with you guys here and commentate throughout. But uh, just to fill you in in the beginning here, I did also forget the first, uh, I did forget to record the first like minute, so pretty much the only thing that you guys missed was... Uh, I ignited some gas and it pretty much uh, blew up the floor, so, <laughs> and now I was trying to get those guys out. But anyways, now that you know uh, what was kind of going on with the audio, uh, let's go ahead and get to watching here. I actually think I kind of like this, I feel like I'm one of you guys watching my videos. I know I've said this before, but Michael Bay probably had something to do with all these explosions, surely. I mean, come on, just look at this. And that. I guess I can kind of use this time as an opportunity to kind of judge how I play myself. I can, I can tell you guys right now, I did not do very good <laughs> in this walkthrough. But I, oh, you guys will we'll see later on. It, it's pretty funny. Will I recycle some of my jokes that I said during the commentary? Probably. Or not during the commentary, during the video while I was recording. Because who doesn't like cheesy one-liners, you know? from him and tomb. Why is Matthias so interested in it? I really don't know why I decided to jump across when there's two guys right here. 
because, man, this, this is terrible for me to try to get him. I was like, there's nowhere for me to stand to where I can get a clear shot other than that one right there. This guy's throwing dynamite on me. I'm like, oh my god, this is a mess. And then right when I finally threw the top, I just decide to peel out. And somehow I saved myself there. <laughs> but you know what I mean. I just I just wasn't playing very good. But it's hilarious to watch from my point of view right now. So are you? I, I mean, are you okay? What happened? And the, the, once they stopped seeing me as a threat, they let me move about almost freely. Did you know the others were captured? Yes, yes. Sam's in there, but I, I couldn't free her without a weapon. And these Solari are an anthropological marvel, Laura. They're insane murderers, Dr. Whitman. We need to get our people out of here. Of course, of course. I'll, I'll keep a lookout here. You, you call me when it's safe. I don't think you understand. You have been chosen, Samantha. This is a great honor for you. For all of us. Some were beginning to doubt we'd ever find you. But here you are. Please. I know you think I'm something special. But I'm not. I don't want to be chosen. This is not about what you want. It's about what you are. Himiko's blood runs in your veins. I think you know this, Samantha. You're insane, Matthias! Why are you doing this? You're searching for logic and reason where there is none. I made the same mistake once. Back when I thought ships could reach us and planes wouldn't fall from the sky. I just want to go home. So do I, girl. I've waited years for this moment. I've given my life. Don't you think I've tried to get away from here? From this place? We're all trapped here. But you, Samantha, you have the power to release us. Many have given up their souls willingly for this gift. The fires are getting worse. The other girls vanished. <sighs> this must be ended. Dimitri, guard her with your life. Well, that life really didn't it's last too long. Crazy. It's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. My weapons. How are we ever going to get out of here? We need to leave before he comes back. Whitman! Whitman! Where the hell is he? And there's so many guys right now that I'm actually looking at it. I was so overwhelmed at the time, I was just kind of firing in every direction. At the same time, I kind of feel like the gun was firing in every direction too, but where I wanted it to.
fatality. One of many to come. Actually, that's probably the second one. Or third. Oh no, I probably lose track. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to get behind here? I saw the pillar on fire, but I didn't even turn around and look at the other, like, six pillars that I could have hit behind. I mean, just miss like the first two shots on that guy. Don't worry, I landed the other like four I put into him though. <laughs> If you guys thought the ambush episode was bad, <laughs> I felt like this one was like two times worse even though there's like half the combat in it. This guy came in thinking he was all hot shit and I just friggin put him on the ground just like that. That's like one of my only uh, redeeming factors in this episode. That was the only kill I felt great about. And the amount of rounds I went through in this episode is just nuts. I think I probably landed maybe 10% of them. The rest of them kind of went in their own separate Come, directions. All of you! Find a chosen one! This one is mine! kind of yelling and panicking I was doing throughout this here did not help the audio quality at all. It, it really just sounded like just like high pitch screaming the whole time. You really could not tell what I was saying, but it was, it was hilarious. about that the eye roll I freaking did after I missed that shot oh my gosh totally didn't take into account any kind of drop or anything Third time's a charm, you know.
That was another thing that was ridiculous too. I felt like with the, the grenade launcher, sometimes when I fired it, it would detonate like on impact. But most of the time when I used it, it didn't detonate until like 5 seconds after I fired it. And I guess there's just a certain range on this because you know, I, I really struggled in this, but it was, it's funny to watch now. second failed attempt at that. At this point I'm like aiming for the sky and I'm like why is it still not hitting? And it finally clicked. I was like oh maybe I'm a little too far away you know. <laughs> and even here I'm still a little too far away. Still too far. <laughs> I was just like, you know, forget it. Sometimes it cuts me some slack in some episodes, sometimes I, I really can't avoid it. Me. I mean I can, but we won't hurt you. Stay I, <laughs> I consciously don't. Run. See that's why I mean there. In that instance right there, it detonated on impact, but when I actually fired it at anyone else, I feel like it- Watch this. See, that was like a good five seconds. I don't know, it was frustrating, I'll stop complaining about it, but it, it's funny to watch now. I could just simply edit out all these deaths, but I I think it's kind of watching it kind of watch it's kind of funny to watch in real time. I mean, it's not really something I'm thinking about while I'm actually playing. I'm just such a rage because I it it took me so long to get through this. And I was like, oh my goodness. attention to how many rounds some of these guys absorb, I swear they just eat everything and I swear I'm landing them like
luckily there's a huge amount of ammunition just lying around this whole time, so... And there's one guy to the left here, up high. I could not hit him, no matter what. Like, I could see him moving. And I was just like, why can't I do it? I saw that one guy that's kind of like glitched through the floor there. And I was kind of cracking up at that. Maybe that was uh, messing with my aim, but even these two guys to the right, I was like, oh my gosh. Once again, it finally clicked and hey, maybe if I get closer, I'll be able to get a better shot on him. <laughs> and, uh, or I decided to, like, juggle the, the rifle a couple of times and I'm like, what is going on here? You good? And even after that first game, I launched up there, I was like, how are you guys still alive up there? And if you remember the last time someone was like gigantic freaking amount of gun shooting at me, I'm behind like stone cover and he's like chipping it away and these, these barrels are like indestructible and I was like, oh my goodness, this game's giving me a break. Somehow I didn't die there, which was crazy, but I wasn't questioning it. I was like, sweet. <laughs> you know, I totally knew these two guys were going to be right here, too. I mean, why would I just zip line in there without shooting him beforehand? That would be crazy. Who would do that? What's the entertainment in that, you know? There's no stopping me. I'm burning through the sky, yeah. Laura! Laura, climb over! Come on! Head for Roth. I'll follow. And Sam, don't get on the helicopter. Just trust me. Please trust me. I don't know what climbing Go. you want her to do over that. There's no way.
Okay, I, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> oh, that one was embarrassing. And you know, I bet you I was. I think I was probably screaming, uh, why didn't the pickaxe come out or anything like that? I mean, surely I was paying attention during that. I, I really doubt that I just missed that. <laughs> They had stormtroopers maining those cannons, otherwise I would have been dead like ten times over. We're taking fire! Wait! The storms! It's too dangerous! There's your problem, if you would have ended up making these uh, temples out of uh, barrels, they would have been indestructible. This stone stuff, man, that stuff just chips away at nothing. It chips away like nothing, I don't know. Maybe PewDiePie was onto something when, whenever he had screen barrels. He knew there was the indestructible material all gamers needed. That sounds cool, and the pilots are like, yeah, let's do it. I did, but it was a good enough joke that I wanted to say it again because I think it's funny. Laura! Laura! 
about Lara, isn't it? Have you forgotten that she's the reason we're here? That's not fair, Reyes. You're right. I shouldn't have said that. It's just... Roth, I don't know what we're gonna do without him. Let's just find someplace safe and make preparations. He died as a warrior. We'll send him on as one. PT boat on the beach. I should be able to fix it up. It's worth a shot. It doesn't matter. We're not getting off this island. Come on, Laura. Don't talk like that. We just gotta regroup. Come up with a plan, you know? You just don't get it. Any of you. Something won't let us leave. Something? Laura, you need sleep. Look, I'll be the first to admit that I usually go in for the weird stuff, but this place is off the charts. I'm not dying here. I'm fixing that boat, and we're leaving. You know this island isn't right, Jonah. I know you do. All I know is that we can't use logic to understand this place. I know you think your instincts are a weakness, but they're a strength. Trust them. We need you, Lara. The big man's right. I can't leave him yet. I need time. You know where we'll be. Come down when you're ready. We won't go anywhere without you. Keep this close. gonna do you've got great instincts girl you've just got to trust them 
No one leaves the storms. They're linked to the power of the Sun Queen. That's what's stopping us leaving. The monastery has a ritual chamber. If that's what the Storm Guard are protecting, the answer to stopping the storms must be in there. A hidden river entrance. The boat. I'm going to use it to go inland to the ritual chamber. Jonah! Reyes! Damn it. I should have gone with them. Oh, sweet. Tactical pistol is like my favorite weapon in the game, just because it looks so cool. But anyways, guys, uh, this is where I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. I uh, appreciate you watching to the end if you did. Uh, go ahead and leave a like and uh, subscribe if you want any more videos like this. Lara, I'm sorry. But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next I episode. You into this Later. Place. I made a promise to your father. The last time I saw him, I swore I would look after you, keep you out of trouble. And what did I do? I put you right in the thick of it. Now you're the one looking after me. You know, you're just like your father. He was smarter, wiser, and stronger than anyone I knew. And he never gave up, no matter how tough things got. I worry about you. But I know if there's anyone who can survive this place, it's Lara Croft. Whatever happens, I want you to know that I loved you like the daughter I never had. I'm proud of you.